To make a payment, log in to CUNY first. Then select Make a Payment. From the left-hand menu, select View and Pay Accounts. Then select Make Payment. All of the CUNY schools that you currently attend or have attended will appear. Next to each listed school, you will see a payment amount box that shows the amount you owe to that school. For example, here the student owes $1,029.45 to Queensboro Community College. You can choose to pay the pre-populated amount due, or if you are paying less than you owe, you can change the amount. If the payment amount box next to a school says zero, that means you do not owe anything to that school. In this example, the student does not owe anything to Queens College. If an amount is entered for a school for which no balance is due, you will receive an error message. Make edits when necessary and review those edits prior to selecting Next at the bottom of the screen. Please note that the amount in the payment amount box next to each school will be the amount paid to those schools. Once you have reviewed the amounts you would like to pay to each school, select eCheck from the drop down menu. Then select Next. Enter the requested information to complete the eCheck transaction. Then select Continue at the bottom of the page. Make sure you review the payment amounts as well as the schools to which those payments will be sent. Then select Confirm. A payment receipt will be available to print upon payment submission. You will also receive a confirmation email. If you made a payment to the wrong school, contact that school's bursar office as soon as possible. Now that we have reviewed a straightforward payment, we will look at two different examples. The first example walks through a payment for a student who owes money to multiple schools and the second explains what to do when the payment information is incorrect. Let's start with the student who owes money to more than one school. In this example, the student owes $608.85 to Queens College, $697.50 to LaGuardia and owes nothing to Queensboro Community College. The amount listed next to each school is what will be paid to that school if no edits are made by the student. The student can pay the total $1,306.35 owed, that is $608 and 85 cents to Queens and six hundred and ninety seven dollars and fifty cents to LaGuardia. Or the student can override the payment amount by entering a dollar amount less than what is owed. In this case the student has one thousand dollars and decides to pay five hundred dollars to Queens and $500 to LaGuardia. The student reviews the payment amounts next to each school. Note that the student did not enter any amount next to Queensboro because nothing is due. The student must select the eCheck option, then select Next. As previously discussed, the student is prompted to enter the requested information to complete the eCheck transaction 
and then select Continue. Before submitting the payment, the student reviews the payment amounts to each school. In this example, the student makes sure they are paying a total of $1,000, that is, $500 to Queens and $500 to LaGuardia. After the student reviews the payments to make sure they are correct, they select Confirm to submit the payment. The payment receipts appear on the screen. One for the Queen's payment and one for the LaGuardia payment. These receipts are also emailed to the student. Now we'll go through an example where the student entered incorrect payment information. Let's use the same student as before where they owed $608.85 to Queens, $697.50 to LaGuardia, and nothing to Queensboro. The student would like to pay a total of $1,000, $500 to each school he or she owes a balance. The student revised the Queen's payment to $500, but forgot to revise the payment amount to LaGuardia. The student also forgot to review each school's payment amounts before selecting their payment type and next. The student proceeded and entered the requested e-check information and pressed continue. But when the student reviewed the payment information, they saw that $500 was going to Queens, but not to LaGuardia. The student clicked on the Cancel button to stop the payment from being submitted and clicked OK to confirm cancellation of the payment. The student was then taken back to the original screen listings of all their schools. Please note that the pre-filled payment amount boxes show the student's total balance due to each school, not the amounts that the student previously entered. The student must edit the payment amount boxes appropriately. Please note that if you made an incorrect payment to a school or if you have questions about your balance due, contact that school's bursar office. For questions about the online payment process, contact Nelnet at 888-470-6011. This concludes the video tutorial. Thank you for viewing this video.